All right, guys, uh, and welcome back to video number two. <clears throat> I want to talk about Jab Jab as well. So Jab Jab is a another great book. I, I think a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk don't agree with everything that he, he says, all of his mentalities on, uh, on digital marketing, um, but he certainly is a, an incredible thought leader in the space, and I think that his work in Jab Jab is, is really, really great. He writes in a very entertaining way as you uh, as you can see and I think um, I think personally more than a lot of his video content he's got a lot of substance uh, here in in jab jab uh, that I I really value more than anything um, what I value in jab jab is his mentality of uh, serving customers with content prior to simply expecting uh, something from them uh, it, it's just like any conversation online uh, or offline when we have of someone. If somebody just asks you for things, um, that's not a positive relationship, right? We, we don't want to be in one of those relationships where the other person is simply asking for things. In like manner, you know, we also don't like to be in relationship with people who are just simply giving things from us. We also like to serve people as well. Similarly, uh, your consumers are passionate about your brand, um, or you know, hopefully they are. Hopefully you've developed that through your, your quality content and your quality service. They want an opportunity to know how they can support your brand effectively. And so uh, that's, that's where that right hook comes into play for him. So right as, as, uh, as Gary says in this, um, you know, the, the jabs are when, uh, you know, we're, we're providing, you know, something for them in the form of content that will, you know, soften them up, that will, you know, not necessarily drive to a direct sale, but something that will put a smile on their face, make them feel appreciated, provide them an escape from maybe their everyday life through laughing or something like that. Right? It helps you to tell the story in a noisy mobile world um, for, you know, how, how the story of your brand gets told and empowers your consumer to be a part of that story as well. The right hooks are those calls to action, right? Buy my t-shirt, uh, download this white paper, call us now, things like that. Um, if all you do is throw right hooks, you're going to miss, right? It's similar to a football team that all they do is throw for the end zone, right? If you, if it's first and 10 on your own 20 yard line and you're just throwing Hail Marys, right? You're actually not going to score very many touchdowns, right? The better thing to do is to get uh, a few yards at a time through running plays or passing plays till you get closer to the end zone. And that's when you, 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 you throw the ball to the end zone, right? It's not powerful enough uh, to simply, um, you know, show and tell about your product you have to actually explain to your client how they are supposed to either consume that content or how they're supposed to respond to that call to action right it, 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 the way that that can only happen is through native content i think gary vaynerchuk really does a great job of hammering this home with you um in in jab jab is where he talks about native content right content that is supposed to be on that platform for a reason, right? It's not a post that we ship out to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of the above. No, these all of these platforms have their own unique style, have their own unique tone, uh, and their own unique expectations. People use Instagram for a certain thing, and people use LinkedIn for a certain thing, just as they use other platforms for certain things too. So, you know, one of the things that he, he likes to repeat in this book and he, he does in a lot of his other stuff is that content is certainly king, but context is even more important, right? You can say great things, but if it's in the wrong context, it won't work, right? Quality content does not interrupt, right? It, it fits into someone's life. It, 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 you know, attracts people, but it's a pull instead of a, you know, it, you know, it, it wants to... You, it, it draws people in as opposed to uh, simply interrupting them, right? Certainly, we don't want to shy away from uh, the fact that 
you know, we have a we have a narrative to tell, we have a a product to sell or a service to sell, right? But we don't want to ask too much, right? This is where the jabs come in. This is where we're you know trying to be of service, right? Precision with native content might you know really start to to soften these people up so that when you have an ask, it'll fall upon better ears, right? Similar to it being native you're going to want to leverage uh, pop culture as well, right? Uh, making sure that, you you know, whatever's popular with that target audience, that, you know, you're you're fitting in with that, that you're, uh, that, that, you know, you, you, that your audience understands that you've got a foot in this world. You're not solely focused on, um, you know, making your widget or providing this service that you're a person just like they are and that you understand things, right? And so leveraging pop culture, um, you know, is is awesome stuff. It, you know, it'll fit in with their news feed and it'll make you seem much, much more approachable. You know, part of him saying, you know, as I say micro here, is that this is a repetition thing. One of the things that I see go wrong all of the time with how brands use social media is that they'll make one post and either forget about it or decide that they haven't gotten enough engagement or uh, sales or leads from it, and so they stop. No, consistency is key with this. Um, you know, if if the target audience changes the subject in a direction that you didn't think it would necessarily go, you know what? You might need to follow that path for them because you're you'll be addressing their concern in that way. Talk about what they're talking about. This is where listening comes into play. And obviously, consistency, consistency, consistency. You've got to be repetitive with this. It might be the first time that someone's seeing this content. You think you're saying it every day? You know what? It's probably the first time that they're seeing it, and it's the first time it's breaking through. Guys, I hope you have an outstanding week. Pay attention to the announcements this week uh, to where we'll be talking about our next uh, our next quiz that will come through. Best of luck on your HubSpot tests. Um uh, and everything. I, I feel confident in your skills. I think you'll do great work, but if you need any uh, guidance or assistance, please feel free to reach out. Go Mox!